Hi all, I made a washcloth and a face scrubby for Halloween. Uh, let's get started. I hope you like it. I'm using Reup. It's a recycled cotton by Lion Brand. It's um, 117 yards. 100% recycled cotton for weight. Okay, there we go. Just going to do single crochets. Going to do eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And pull your magic ring tight. That thing wanted to twist there. Did you see that? Don't you twist on me. <laughs> Okay, so let's just double check these again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's get under there. Slip stitch. Now we're going to get two in every stitch. So it should have 16. And if my hands will do what I tell it to, then it will work. Two in every stitch. I'll meet you back. Okay, so I counted 16 stitches back to this one. Okay, so now we do two in the first, and then one, two single crochets in the next stitch, and then one in the next stitch. And you do that all the way around, and I'll meet you back. Okay, so Make enough stitches on that round with the every other double stitch to have 32 on your round. And from now on, I'm just going to use this stitch marker to mark the end of the round because it's getting pretty long to, to do all those counts every time. But this row right here should have 32. And then I'm going to put a stitch marker on that last one. And I'm not going to level up, I'm just going to continue in rounds, okay? Let's see if this one will stay on. Okay, so I did two there. I'm going to do one. And then one. So that's two singles, and then we're going to do two in this stitch. So this is my quote unquote double. They're all single crochets. So one, two, 
three and then put a double, put another one in that third. So one, two, three, and put another in that third. One, two, three, and then you put another in that third. And do that for the next round. I'll meet you back when we get to the end. Okay, so I just took my stitch marker out of the stitch that was right here. And this is my last one that has two in a stitch. So it's looking pretty good, looking pretty flat. You could stop here if you wanted to, if you wanted to make a little um, like stacked up jar full of um, face scrubbies. These, this is the perfect size. Okay, so I have continued on a um, continuous rounds um, up to 10 um, single crochets between the ones that are two in the same uh, hole, same stitch. But um, I also just want to say that if you want to make a like face cloth, just make it the diameter of your hand. The uh, face scrubbies, they fit in the palm of your hand. Dishcloth is the size of your hand. It's just a good rule of thumb. Looks like not all of them lead to the center. Okay, so I've finished up the end. to pull that nice and tight, put it through the back, just to give it a little extra oomph. And what I like about this uh, surface crochet is it's um, I mean, it's nice and thick here on this side, you know, and you can control, you know, where it goes pretty easily. But on the back, it actually looks nice there too, I think. A little bit of cotton. Um, yeah, but it's, it's much thinner. So when you're doing your surface crochet, think about what effect you want, which side is the right side. Either one of these is fine. I also made a little face scrubby. I was um, kind of doing a mandala kind of point to point kind of a design. I really didn't have any design in my head when I made this one. Kind of like a lotus flower. A little spa scrubby. Um, and like I said, if you want to do another Halloween themed one, you could do um, an orange back backing instead of the white and then do like a pumpkin face little you know pumpkin face um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, please like and subscribe and um, I'll see you in the next video